Hi guys, so I've seen a few people recently use phones and iPads to make some awesome looking portal swirly vortex, well, thingies. So I thought, hey, I've had to have a go at doing that. So I'm going to add it as another room on this little sort of, well, four room set that I've made. Um, these are obviously great because I can stack these, so I can make loads of little sort of smallish rooms for obviously nice little encounters, skirmishes. Um, but the great thing is, obviously these stack really well. So I can get lots of room, uh, or lots of rooms, uh, without taking up too much room, if that makes sense. So I'm using an old iPhone here, well it's an old one, it's actually my son's one, um, so it's quite old. Um, just because it's nice and thin and it'll fit in there. And obviously the f my normal phone is what I'm kind of using to film the videos, so I couldn't really use that one. So yeah, just making a little sort of surround support for the, uh, for the phone to sort of like slot into, basically. And then obviously I want to be able to cover it up with bricks and other sort of bits and pieces. So you can't obviously then see the, the, uh, that it's a phone. All you see is the uh, the screen, which is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, just use a bit of balsa wood and obviously these MDF sheets. I've got loads of these. Um, nice and cheap from Amazon. Um, and yeah, they work really well. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely sticking with this way of, of making bricks from now on. Just because I, I love these bricks. And yeah, I really love sort of the higgledy piggledy of them uh, when you lay them down. Because some of these bricks, well, they're not exactly all entirely um, the same height. Some are a little bit higher than others. Some go off at weird little angles. So when you lay them next to each other, they do look like they're sort of well sunken and uh, they've had a bit of wear and tear, uh, which is which is pretty cool. So we've been making loads more of these. I have got a video where I make these. Obviously, it's pretty simple. It's a case of cutting them up, and then I cut them in half to make them obviously the different heights. Um, then put them in a box full of stones and just bash them about a bit. Um, but I will be making some more bricks soon, so I'm starting to run out. So my next video. Um, I probably will include a little sort of 30 second bit of me, uh, well, making the bricks, even though it is nice and simple, which is pretty cool. So yeah, as like last time, there's lots of gaps in between, so these, these little bricks are they're cut up by hand, so they aren't exactly square, and then when they get bashed about a bit, they uh, do tend to lose a lot of their shape. So there's gaps in between, which is pretty cool, um, and I'll just go around filling the gaps with some grout. Um, just because I think it looks really good. Some of the, the, the um, obviously these gaps in between, they were a bit too sort of wide and a bit too deep. Um, so yeah, so generally I do cover up any of them that look a bit too uh, well too off uh, with some grout, which doesn't take too long. Um, and again, I, I enjoy the whole process of uh, building something. I'm never in a rush to build something. Um, I don't sort of rush to build it to make sure I get a video out. I just build things, um, take my time, and obviously the main thing is you have fun. Have fun with this hobby and up to the whole building. So yeah, as you can see, obviously different uh, bricks for the walls. Um, I might start making some other bricks. I've just recently seen a video. I will leave a link when I do copy this person. Um, and he makes some bricks, and they just look so natural and just well awesome. Uh, so obviously I only use three different styles here. Uh, with this other chap, he just uses a whole multitude of different sort of styles and shapes, and they just look yeah so so realistic. Um, so yeah, I will be giving that a go, and obviously say mentioning uh, the video that I saw of the person originally doing it, which is cool. Anyway, enough waffling, then let's get back to uh, laying some more bricks. So the glue I'm using, I'm just using Gorilla Glue, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen any of my previous videos, uh, just because the Gorilla Glue doesn't sort of melt or dissolve um, these foams or bricks. If you use um, super glue, it, it will just, well, it eats into this stuff. Uh, there's probably loads of, loads of glues that don't eat into it. Uh, but my go-to glue is definitely Gorilla Glue, just because I find it sticks anything to anything, and it has a super strong bond. But it does take about 20 minutes to dry, uh, which in some cases is good because you can sort of lay these things out, and then if you make a mistake, you can go back and correct it. So yeah, I've said it in a few videos now. These are my favourite doors. Um, I am starting to sort of batch print certain things, just so I've always got loads on hand. And as you can see, the doors I have got loads of the doors. Uh, doors and the uh, the candles that I use on a lot of these um, little sort of scenes and sets I use as well. So talking about 3D printing guys, now's a great time to, to buy a 3D printer. Uh, if you go and have a look at any Cubic site, they're doing lots of deals. I think throughout the whole of the summer, they're um, doing sort of deals on certain printers. Uh, obviously reducing the prices by quite a bit. Uh, the one I've got, or well, I've got a few of them, I'll use the Anycubic M3. As well as the Anycubic Mono X. Um, yeah, great printers. Never had really any issues with them, and the only time I've ever had um, prints fail is generally when uh, I've made the supports and the supports have given away. 
There is a link in the description. Go check them out. So I've masked off the other room, just because obviously when I come to sort of prime this with a spray, I don't want to um, get that one ruined. So yeah, that's all masked off, and there we go. It's now primed and ready to uh, yeah, ready to paint. So usual kind of thing with this. I primed it in a dark color, and then going over doing light dry brushing. Um, I've got two different sort of greys that I use. Uh, one's like a, a grey grey, and the other one's more of a greeny grey, which kind of a very subtle greeny grey, but it uh, it does work and adds just another sort of layer and texture to the uh, to the stones. And then using my good old wash that I've made, which is just purely black ink and a bit of water, nothing else. Spray that over. Don't don't even sort of um, paint it on. Just let it dry in, and then I go over with a, a white uh, white dry brushing. Uh, just to obviously catch all the edges and make them look a bit more worn and weathered. Um, yeah, so nice and simple, but um, I'm really pleased with how the brickwork looks. Obviously, I could do more to it by going in and making some of the bricks a completely different colour. Uh, but for the moment, I'm happy doing it this way. It's nice and simple and quick, and it, it does make all the rooms look sort of relatively the same. Uh, so I, when I do do like a, a campaign or just a dungeon dive, then all the rooms they go into look fairly similar. So it's like the same sort of uh, well, same dungeon really. Yes, yeah, so obviously I painted the, um, the skulls white and then went over with um, a wash. Uh, but I didn't realise this wash was kind of like a, a ready brown. Um, and yeah, it dried later and you'll, you'll see later that I actually go over and redo it because I didn't, I didn't like it. Um, it didn't make the skulls look old and weathered. They just looked, well, a different colour. So yes, yeah, so I put obviously the candles on here. And when I put the candles on, um, I do a bit of dry brushing with a yellow just so it gives the walls an, an effect that the candles are sort of glowing. Um, it's quite subtle, but I think sometimes when you do things that are subtle, they look obviously better than it looking too much in your face. And uh, there you go, so you can see the candles and the walls have a nice sort of healthy glow to it. So obviously again, more 3D printing, because obviously I, I love my 3D printers. Um, they are the best thing ever. It's like having your own toy shop in your house. Um, you can literally go and find something online, print it off, scale it to whatever size you need, and yeah, there you go, you've got it within a couple of hours. Slap some paint on, um, and yeah, job done. So, <laughs> really pleased with uh, having a 3D printer, it's just amazing. Um, obviously, I do like making things from scratch as well, uh, but yeah, the 3D printer does obviously help a whole lot. So, yeah, so see, these, these um, skulls dried and they just didn't look, uh, they look naff. Um, so, like most things, if you're not happy with something, it is worth taking the time changing it so you are happy. Uh, because obviously you're the one who's going to be looking at this all the time. So now I'm going over with a, uh, a definitely a brown uh, wash and yeah the effect is so much nicer. Uh, this is obviously the same effect that I used on all the candles so the skulls look more like the candle ones and yeah really happy with that and a nice little, uh, well I'm not too sure what that is but that could be like a summoning stone or something or other, I don't know, I'm waffling. So instead of waffling let's have a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for helping support the channel and my sponsors. Um, as it really does mean I can continue to sort of keep making videos. I am getting back into now the process of, on my Patreon page, uh, putting up behind the scenes pictures and images of what I'm doing. So if you want to help consider sort of helping me out and seeing what's happening before it comes on YouTube, yeah, become a patron, guys. There's a link at the end. If you like the video, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe buttons. I do produce videos now every week, uh, sometimes twice a week. And yeah, leave comments guys, I'd love to hear what you uh, think about my videos and what sort of rooms or dioramas you want me to build in the future. Okay, awesome. Take care guys. Bye for now.